Hello guys, what's up? This is Freedom. I've got another tutorial for you today, but this tutorial is not going to deal with Mugen. This is going to deal with ripping sprites from CF CPS3 emulator. And I know a lot of people have been asking me, how do I do it? But um, right now I'm going to make a vid for you, so I hope this helps out. So what we're going to do is, we're going to open up CPS3 emulator, open up its folder. But the thing is, to rip sprites from it, you need a special MAME. Which I found at Mugen Gold. Somebody made it. Forgot his name. <laughs> so it's right here. Here's the meme. But you can't press this. Watch. You press this. Nothing happens. So what you need to do is you need to open it up with command prompt. And also to do this, you need to find out where your CPS3 emulator folder is. Like it's on my desktop, right here. So I have to get to the desktop. So we're going to go to start. We're going to go to run. We're going to type in CMD as you can see it's right there. And open this up and to get to the documentation go type in CD first and then um CPS3 emulator. No wait, not CPS3 emulator, desktop. All right. Now it goes to my desktop. So it's all right here now but it, need, it still needs to get to the folder. So what we're going to do is type in CD again, and this time CPS3 emulator. But now I have to do it again because I have another folder. <laughs> so I could just do tab instead. It finds it quicker. See? But uh, I forgot to put CD there. And there you go. And now to do this, watch this. To get it to work, you need to type in mame.exe and then you have to find what mame you want. The mame I want for from the Yang uh because I, I want to rip the Yang stage. So we gotta type in street uh SF I I I as you can see over here, and then two, which is Street Fighter um which is Street Fighter 3 second impact, and then dot zip and press enter and you're in but um alright so to get through this you just have to press left and right to continue press this now you don't want the whole screen so press alt and then enter and then do that and then over here just minimize it oops okay so I'm in the game now now just press 5 to insert the coins Press one for your character, then two for your other character, and we're gonna. I'm gonna pick. Let's see here. Pick Ken. Press. I already press two, and I want Yang stage. All right. So here's the thing. For this, um, you just press shift and press one, two, or three. For one, it takes out the background. For two, it takes out the characters and also some other things that are, you know, not from the background. And three it takes off the light bars. So that's not all it does. So we're gonna press unpause again. I gotta pick it up. Get Yang in there. Round one. Bye -bye. All right, so now we pause the game. All right, now what we want to do is let's try to um, let's try to get this guy over here, just him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, press uh, Shift W, keep on pressing it until he disappears, and then press D, and there he is. So now what we want to do is get rid of the light bars too. So there he is, all nice there. But the thing is, is that he's animated. So what are we going to do about this? Well, we take pictures first, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to press F12. That would, that's what takes the picture. Don't press shift for this. Just press F12. That's all you need to do. And then just um, press shift and then P. But the thing is, if you want to animate a stage, the P thing, it shows you a millisecond. So every millisecond you do, you should um, also uh, put in your uh, uh, def file for your stage. So if you want the stage to be all correct, it has to be the right milliseconds. So let's see here. Let's see until it starts turning. 
So see, there he is. He turned. So how many milliseconds is it going to take for him to st uh, turn to the next part? So we're going to press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. It takes 8 times until he turns to his next part. Let's try again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's only 8. That's all you need to do for those parts. But sometimes there are parts where it takes him longer to turn. So that's it for that part. Now, what about the background? Well, let's see what we can do. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put back the life bar. Not the life bars. We're going to take this guy off again. To, press, to get everything back to where it was, press Shift and then T. And now it's back to normal. And now we just want to get the background. But we want to get the whole background. So let's press P. And let's move uh, uh, Ken over to the right. All right, so he's to the right. Now, what we're gonna do is get the just get the background. So just press two, and there's the background. But you want to do is you want to get every part of the background, every part. So you need a character that has a big punch or kick that can go all the way to the top of the top of the stage. So then you can take pictures from that. So let's see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put back uh, a Ken, and we'll see. Let's see what we can do. Hold on, I gotta put the light bar in too. So let's start kicking his butt. Alright. Just killed him once. Yeah, perfect, because he wasn't even moving. Alright, so we're back to where we started again. So let's go over here again, and let's kick his ass. Oops. See, it goes up a little, but it's not as much, so you want to do it full power. Now, just stop it. Just press P when he's doing this. Now, press Shift, and then just keep on pressing P. Yeah, kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? See? He's all the way to the top of the stage. Now, we can take, uh, just get that part of the stage now. So, just press Shift, and then... Press 3, get rid of the light bars and the characters, and there's the part of your stage that you want. Now just press F12 again, and you got the stage. You got part of it, but you need to get the rest. So you just have to have a special move, and you need to know how to do it, and you need to get the timing exactly. So that's pretty much it for that. And there's also another cool uh, thing. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to just make the sprites, like, you know, there are uh, like a ton of sprites. We can put uh, two sprites together. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Um, do this and do that. Put those back there. Press P again. And let's just get his ass over here. Uh, whatever. Forget it. So we're going to pause this again. And we're going to press Shift. And what we're going to do is we're going to press D. And watch this. You can actually just choose the sprites from there, and also, they can also come back to that. You can also, how to do this is you press W. So, as you can see, stuff is coming all over the place. So, press Q, and it goes back to where, you know, it's this part. So, when you press Q, it goes back to where everything is, and if you go press W, it goes back to where it was, too. So, and also, E and R do stuff, like it takes off the sprites that were on, were on the front. So... That's pretty much it. That's all you need to know. It's not that hard. You just need to know how to do it. All right, guys. Oh, one more thing I forgot to tell you about. Oh, man, I can't believe I forgot this. Um, for the ROMs, you need a CHD file. I'm sorry, but yes, you do. I will post a site to where you can get these CHD files. You need them. This is the only way you're going to get the uh, emulator, uh, the ROMs to work to be able to be ripped. So I'm sorry, but that's what's going to have to happen. And to do this, all you have to do is open the ROMs first, unzip them, and then when you get the CHD file, you have to have the right file. Like uh, Street Fighter uh, uh, 3 Second Impact has its own CHD file, so you have to download it and then unzip uh, the ROM and then put the CHD file in the folder. I mean, yeah, in the folder. And then rezip it, and it should work then. So that's all you need to know. It's not that hard. You just need to do what you need to do. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.